Health Spotlight, presented by Community Health Network. And joining us now is Wish TV's medical reporter, Dr. Mary Gillis. Guys, right. good to see you. How are you? Good. All right. Well, what's on tap for this week? Oh, guys, some really cool stuff, actually. Okay, so um, we're going to talk about a new study that addresses uh, owners handling pet food. Mm. So a new study finds most U.S. dog owners do not know how to safely handle pet food and dishes, and that can affect you and your family's health, too, with an increased risk of foodborne illnesses. The study found 95% of more than 400 dog owners were not aware of the Food and Drug Administration's guidelines for the safe handling of pet food. That includes washing your hands before and after handling pet food or treats, preparing dog food on separate surfaces from the ones used for human food, and not using the feeding bowl as a scoop. Uh, you're also supposed to wash and dry food bowls and scoops after each use. Holy wow. Okay, the study <laughs> tested nearly 70 dog food dishes for bacteria before and after, giving three different sets of instructions for handling food. It found significantly less bowl contamination from owners who followed the FDA's food handling guidelines. Hmm. Guys, I love my dog. I don't do that. Really? <laughs> no. Because I do. Really? You, do wash, no. you wash it, but you you would need Every food. time I, um, for the scoop? Every yes. scoop. Good for you. Yeah. I Overachiever. D- okay. Yes. I know. I mean, because right. here's the thing, because <laughs> Izzy doesn't know personal space, right? right? My baby, she is wonderful, but she loves to be all up in everything. Mm-hmm. And so I, but I am, especially after the pandemic, me and washing hands and oh, I just, wow. I like the separation. Wow. I mean, yeah. I washed the bowl, but I never thought about washing the scoop, you know, like yeah. of the, uh, all right, anyway. Well, no, no, uh, Mary, what's moving this? forward. <laughs> right. What's this I hear about fake Adderall? Oh, gosh, guys, listen to this. Okay, so there's a, uh, a warning about people uh, getting up fake Adderall. The FDA and the DEA say two websites, kubafarm.com and Premium Lights. Uh, supplier.com are illegally selling drugs being marketed as Adderall without a prescription. Adderall is used to treat ADHD, but there's a high risk of abuse or addiction. And officials say uh, getting meds without a prescription and buying from unsafe online pharmacies means the drugs could be counterfeit, contaminated, expired, or harmful in other ways. If you have meds from either website, throw them away and don't buy anything else from them. Hmm. I always wonder, like, when people just buy drugs from, like, wherever, you know, like, when it's not, like, from your pharmacy or whatever, why are are they so confident in that? I mean, the thing is, there's been great things about telehealth, but, like, I'm a little skeptical, you know, because actually I read there's 40,000 fake uh, online pharmaceutical companies that are selling counterfeit drugs in around the world compared to the 1,000 in the United States. So right. I, I go to my doctor, right? Yes, I mean, yeah. because I'm not trying to pay $50 for some sugar water. And the thing is, it's a placebo, yeah. Oh, like yes. it's not, And it could be dangerous because <laughs> if you want something to heal you, you know, like, I mean, right. it's counterfeit and it doesn't right. work, then And now you're, you're just grumpy and you still hurt. Yeah. Mary, mm-hmm. Mary, All right, so uh, last one. Oh, oh, I think I think that's all the time we got for Yes. For, oh, okay, this, okay. This time well, around. I mean, thanks, those are two very important things. Yeah. Thank you guys both. I know, I know you got more. Keep up with Mary online. She's yeah. always got a wealth of information mm-hmm. for you guys. Gosh, Trust wonderful me on that. Wonderful to see you. Thank you guys both. Yeah, thank you.